am Abhijit from bustingjaemain.com and in this video we will look at how to identify the functional group present in an organic compound so that we can write its name properly. In the last video I talked about the five different factors that are needed to write the name of an organic compound properly and functional group is the first one of them. To review that material I told you to remember at least the names of these six functional groups. I will review them here, oic acid, C double bond OOR was called O8, C double bond OH was named L, then we had C double bond O as ON, OH as OL and finally NH2 as amine. So at least remember these six functional groups in this order. This order is important. Why? I will tell you later in this video. So to begin with, there are some compounds that do not have any functional group inside them. What are those compounds? First, we have hydrocarbons yes hydrocarbons that include alkanes alkenes and alkynes all these compounds do not have any functional group inside them and we have another class of compounds that we call haloalkanes which contain a halogen now haloalkanes contain functional groups but for the purpose of naming we say that they do not have any functional group this is only for naming only for naming all right so this is how we name compounds that do not have any functional group what we do is we actually write an e at the end of the name i will take an example Let's see this compound. If you see, there are four carbon atoms in this compound. One, two, three and four. Therefore, I can call it butane with an E at the end. Any compound that does not have a functional group will have an E at the end. It is also easy to identify when there is only one functional group present in the compound. Let's take an example, OH. Clearly, in this compound there is only one functional group and that is an alcohol. And we can take some more examples, NH2, COOH and let's say, let's do this one double bond O. So clearly you can see that here the functional group is an amine. In this compound the functional group is, an, is a carboxylic acid and the, in the final compound the functional group is a ketone. So it is actually the compounds with more than one functional group where we need to identify the primary functional group and the secondary group because it is the primary functional group that will decide the name of the compound. Let us take a few examples here. For example, let us see. For example, let us have this compound NH2 and uh, let's add here COOH. So clearly this compound has two functional groups. One is an amine and the other is a carboxylic acid. Now if you remember the order that I mentioned previously, the order is like this. And OH and finally the amine. So in this order, the highest priority is given to the COOH group. Therefore, our primary functional group is COOH and the amine becomes secondary therefore this compound will be named as an oic acid 
we will not call it an amine we will call it an oic acid let's take another example we have an oh here we have a double bond o ketone here and cho here now in this compound there are three functional groups one is an alcohol here we have a ketone and the third functional group is an aldehyde now out of these three oh the ketone and the aldehyde if you check the priority list you will find that aldehyde is on the top therefore the primary functional group will be aldehyde and so this compound will be named as an aldehyde and in the end we will write an al so guys in this video we looked at how to identify the functional group present in a compound if you found the video useful please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel you can also drop your comments below the video to let us know how we can help you more this is abhijit from bustingjaimen.com see ya